and back. We took a potty break. And I say hello and pat the dog's break and talk to the bird for a minute. This looks like it's got a lot of beads in it. I can see some blue and some orange. This might be a little more exciting, but maybe not. Some silver in there. Some pink. Those look nice. This might be better. I don't know. So my theory, my thing is, after I get done with... Here's the last one. After I get done with these, make sure there's nothing left in the bag, I am going to start doing a series that I am going to call Let's Build Lots. And I'm going to name them one, two, three, etc. And in those, I'm going to build lots, essentially. Showing you what the lots are and the boxes are, are going to be... Or, I guess, excuse, excuse my dogs. Sorry about that. Um, they bark. It's what they do. They're dogs. But I'm going <laughs> to... I love my doggies. I have four of them. The little ones are the yappy ones. Two, well, two little ones, one medium one, and one big one. So the lots I'm going to build, it's going to be, let's build lots. That's kind of cute. Piece of, um, uh, like, that's kind of nice. It's missing some stuff, but it's, it's nice. It's going to be, let's build lots, and the lots is going to be, um, what you see have seen in the last month along with stuff that i had long before because i've been doing this for a while wow well, it's got some weight it's not marked which is a shame it says kindness energy integrity fun belief soul growth elegance believe integrity admiration kindness fun and trust that's actually really nice. It's got some weight to it. It's not magnetic either. It almost feels like pewter. I don't think it's missing any stones, but it's... It's not very... It's a little bit... I, got, I still haven't got my... I gotta get that out. But we're gonna build do a Let's Build Lot series. And in that series, I'm going to have my boxes. I'll probably do it in my dining room. So you'll probably hear my dogs scattering about in the kitchen and in my dining room. Because my dining room is connected right next to my kitchen with wood floors. So their nails, they put their paws out, you know, when they walk. And their nails hit the floors. It doesn't... Because they're on a slick surface, that's what they do. They're trim. They just... That's how they walk. When they end up on slick surfaces, they put their claws out, as I call it. This one's got some wear. It is, let's see, who is this? It's marked. Roman. I will have to look that up because Roman is a vintage, I believe. So I'm going to have to. Oh, that's tight. Wow. Mm, I can't even get that apart. This one's nice too. Shiny. Little beads. Uh, it's fabric. Doesn't look to be too bad. It looks, it's really stiff still, so I don't think it's been worn much. So I'll put that in bracelets. But the, it's going to be Let's Build Lots, and I'm going to put in what they are, and they're going to be on eBay. And if you see one that you're interested in, and don't tell me I missed something, because then I want to keep it. Sorry, but that's just... These do have beads. They're on a, a, a piece of thread. These are not bad. I think these are glass. Real shiny. Be great for um, like a New Year's Eve or to stay here really long. It'd be great for a flapper. Throw it in there with some red and some white. You're good to go. We'll put that in a box. But I'm, I've got to start moving some stuff. And the only way to do it is just to do it. And the way I'm going to do it is put them on. As I'm building them, I'm going to name them, list them. It's actually kind of nice. It's kind of different. 
different. This coins. It is not a name, but it is a vintage piece, and it has. I think this was. This isn't. This isn't the C class from the twenties and the thirties. This is like the C class from the eighties and the nineties. So I'll still have to look it up to see if it's. It doesn't have a name on it, but I'll still I'll still look it up. If it's not, it'll go in a lot. But I have, like I said, I have to start moving some of this stuff. It's airing. The only way to do it is just to do it. If that means coming on here, making videos out of it. These are, this is really long. This reminds me of things from Hong Kong. They are plastic. It's cute. It's pretty. It's not bad. It has very, still has life left. These look like little eggs. So cute. Clasp is beat up. Let's see what does it, it says something on it. Korea. It's still got a little bit of wear, but um, I haven't put it in a box for necklaces. <coughs> a box I started the other day is almost completely full, so. Your movies over here. I'm gonna pull some stuff out. I'm gonna go in my dining room and set up in there so I can have room to go through the boxes and build the lots because I have a lot of stuff to put. This is nice. It's like a gun metal. This will go in necklaces. And I'm just gonna start doing random lots. It's not gonna be anything. I was gonna do like theme lots, like black and gold tone i just don't have that i don't want to do that this one i'm gonna keep these beads these are really nice faceted ab it looks like it was missing a, something broke it's got the barrel clasp these feel like they remind me they're really nice and heavy they remind me of australian austrian crystals or even maybe I don't think Swarovski. I don't know. Maybe they make them that big. These I will be keeping. I do love those. Those are pretty. Those are mine. I said you can't. You gotta if you can't keep anything. What's the point? This has a little tassel. And it's blue. These are cute. These are vintagey. Nothing, in my opinion, nothing special, but because they're faux pearls and acrylic, but somebody might like that because if you have an allergy to metal, perfect. I'm hoping that I can get my $78 back out of this. I don't know if I will or not. There's an elephant. He's got a little wear on his trunk, but and a lot of wear on the band. So this will end up in most likely in a craft lot. It's cute though. Let's see. That's a really bad earring. That's just trash. Hmm. See that cost. Looks like it should say something somewhere. Gotta check these clasps out because just because it's on something that looks like it should be cheap, that doesn't mean that the clasp isn't gold. This probably isn't, but because somebody could have reused the clasp, not even thinking about it. It's not eh, a little bit magnetic. I it just has that look of even being gold filled, maybe. does have a little spot on the back that kind of makes me question my judgment. I'm not an expert, see that spot? And it's just acrylic beads. If I find out it's nothing, this will go into a box lot that you'll get to see me build. Let's see. Dyed halite. So I'm thinking this is dyed halite. It's pretty. It's pink. I've not seen pink before. It's different. 
It's interesting. But like I said, I thought about doing um, different types of lots, like saying that, oh, we're going to do a black and silver lot. And I still might, because I do have some of that separated, but I've got so much of it. This is plastic. There's another one that's bright gold. That one. These are just. Did my nails today. And I don't want to mess them up. Because I. Took off the. Well, that's not working very well. It just. Closed up even more. So I have to look at that later and see. But these are. Just acrylic pearls. There's that other earring. Flashy flash. LCI Liz. Is that Liz? LCI. Liz Claiborne Incorporated. Has a lot of wear. So that's going to end up probably in a lot. I'd hate to say it, but it has a lot of wear. I will look it up first before I do that because sometimes even these ones with wear. Not saying that Liz Claiborne has a lot of value, but you never know. You just never know these days what some people deem valuable and other people don't. And Jenna. It's a bracelet. Brand new in package. Looks good. Could get a couple wears out of that. I figured I would show you these lots to show you what you might expect from America's Thrift because this is pretty average. Those are kind of cool. You want, these are just plastic. There's nothing special. These are wood. I think those are wood. I mean, I feel like carved wood. I don't see anything special about them in my opinion, but Maybe I'm missing out on something. I don't know. And if you think I'm rushing it too much, just let me say something and drop me a comment. I listen. For the most part. There's just some bright green beads over there. And that thing looks like a total mess. I don't even want to touch it. This is wood. With a gold tone chain. But the build my lot the build lot series, I'm going to start building them and I'll weigh them on video so everybody knows how much I weigh. Those are little hearts. And I'm gonna list them on eBay. And if anybody sees one that they want, you know, I don't have a lot of subscribers, so I'm not really I won't say the price on on in here, but I wonder if that's all one piece. I don't think so. I think it's just caught on there. <laughs> yeah. Let's just take that off. I'll say the price, but I'll still... And it will be listed on eBay the same day that I do the video. And I'll let you know what day I did the video. Because I can't do live, and I can't... See, that's just this is this is true to form of what you get. These are just acrylics, so this is going in craft. It's broken completely. I'm not a fan of this, and this is why I didn't. I stopped after the third box because this is kind of. I'm not even going to. I don't want to undo this, but I'm going to see what this says on it first. If I can get. So there's nothing there. These are vintage. The clasp doesn't want to work, right? Nothing. Nothing. If I can't get this, I'm not even going to... I don't... I'm not even going to try to untangle it because this is already coming apart. I am just going to put this in a craft box the way it is. And then there's a barrel clasp. These are vintage, but again, 
it's got some icky on there right there. Whoever gets it will have to clean that up. I'm going to put this in a regular lot. There's other than that one spot, there's nothing wrong with it. I like that bead right there. This bracelet was four dollars. It's kind of nice. I like. I like this bead. I like this bead. Not sterling, but those are nice. I like this one too. This one's got some wear on it, but these two are really nice. Those are nice. Those have wear. So, let's see. The clasp doesn't look like it wants to. No, it, the spring sprung inside. So, that's a craft piece, but I'll probably see if I want to keep those two beads or not. This is one of those shell. And I hear these, some of these are expensive, but I, I don't know. I haven't done much research on those. Maybe I need to. Glued stars. Look at all that junk on my hands. Somebody, oh, uh, nature's necklace. Star necklace, that's all it says. So, this will go into a new lot. Or into a regular necklace lot with the tag. This one was $3. It's got some weight to it. This is, I believe, two bracelets. I used to make these. These were probably some of the easiest things. It's got good stretch on them. So we'll put those in bracelets. I like I like these beads. They're fun to work with. You can put them in between other like some of the other things, and put a head pin through them, and they'll flip. They'll turn. I don't want to touch that right now. Uh, whoever came out with these is genius. Cause you can put a head hairband on here and wear it. You can fit your head bear, hairband on there and put it on, and you got your hairband on here and it doesn't. These are genius. I like these. There is a really shiny. Shiny, shiny. So shiny. Hinge. Copper tone. Gold tone. Rose gold, maybe. But it's really shiny. Look at that shine. Look at that shine. It's still going in a box. <coughs> it had no name on it. This is the blue one I saw, and I do like this. These are dyed, which I will probably keep this because I have a thing. I want to make a necklace. Now, these might not be dyed. These might actually be chips. Oh, there's some mica, so these are chips of, um, Oh, it's that one. You can see some of the mica in there. I can't, it's not, I don't think it's sodalite. It's the other one. I could be wrong. But this one I'm going to keep. I love that blue. So I get to keep some stuff. That looks like faux coral. Let's see what you are. Oh, it comes with friends. Look at there. Lots of friends. Who has come soon to some earrings? Look at that one. Cha-cha. It's kind of bent out of shape. I think it's supposed to be a circle. Cha-cha-cha. Hey, uh, oh, there's the other cha-cha. We got both cha-chas. Those are fun. Those are long. Got two cha-chas. Oh, and this one's here. Take you back to the 80s. Colors. This one at least didn't have a lot of these bangles in it yet. That I can tell. This one's not in bad shape. My baby's laying behind me. Her name is Abby. She's a Havanese. She's really pretty. She needs a haircut and a bath. These are missing stones, so what's missing one right there? This is going to, and these are little heart chain. That's the one that was tangled in the other thing. It's going to go into the craft. 
that's craft. It's broken. Craft. Oh, wrong box. I still got my boxes over here. They're actually pretty full. And I'm not going to be buying any more boxes for a little while. I'm, I've got two from Tennessee to open. I have the other ones coming that was Natural Stones. This is a really long chain from Shop Goodwill. I'm just going to go through all the stuff that I already have and show you what I have and the boxes I'm listing. Because I, I have it. It's new, not new to me, but it's new to you. So, won't hurt anything. You should get to see what I've been hoarding. These feel like stones. Riley. You may name Riley in the house. It's cute. Actually, it's really not bad quality. I like that. I just don't know anybody named Riley. Not spelled that way. Could take this off and just leave this heart on there. And then you have a really pretty necklace. Because this heart is got some it's really pretty. It almost feels like a Swarovski, but it's not marked anywhere. Yeah. It's really nice. Let's see if I can do this without causing my 